death penalty, barbaric ways. Capital punishment or death penalty is not limited to hanging, lethal injections, or electric chairs. It also includes shooting to death. In this year alone, the Human Rights Commission estimated the said situation to high to us about 27,000. Death as a form of punishment has been around a long time, and according to Death Penalty Information Center, the first recorded accounts of death penalty goes as far as 18th century during the time of King Hammurabi in Babylon. This goes to show that we have thought about capital punishment a long time. In a country alone, we have fought for the abolishment of death penalty four times. And two of those, ti two of those times were during the term of our current president. We abolished one in 1987 and the second in 2006. And the petition has been passed in the Senate and was given to the Supreme Court, but to no avail was turned down. But even so, the fight goes on. I believe that death penalty in the Philippines should not be implemented because it violates human rights, relies heavily on money and power, and abuses misinformation and evidence. Now why do we believe so? Why do we believe that death penalty is wrong in nature? According to Amnesty International, quote, death penalty violates the most fundamental human right, the right to life. It is the ultimate cruel and inhuman degrading punishment, end quote. One can agree that no one has the right to take another life even one's own. So what justification can we give to someone who wonders goes capital punishments? To add on to that, death penalty is discriminatory in nature. Majority of the cases under death penalty were against those who are weak, both financially and socially, those who are vulnerable, and this includes ethnic and religious minorities. Some of these cases are even caused by the governing bodies as well as to silence enemies. Beyond the ethical and moral scope of death penalty, death penalty is run by money and its power. It is common knowledge that high-profile cases like capital punishment are once costly and so how can minorities afford such lawyers who are strong and capable of defending them from the state and the nation? Here in the Philippines, you cannot be charged of death penalty unless the victim is, ki the victim is killed. And for that, the minimum bail is worth around 10,000 Philippine peso. Unless, of course, if you think the defendant has enough of a case to overturn the situation. On the other hand, those in power and, and, and in position can afford such lawyers and pay, ba pay bail because they have the money and the connection to do so. A prime example of this case is during 2016 when Bong Nevilleo was charged with plunder and bailed out for 1.24 million peso. Imagine stealing from the country and being allowed to get away from it for paying just with 1 million peso. So this begs the question, how is justice served with those power, with those with power are more capable to defend themselves and those who lack the resources are convicted wrongly? Others argue that death penalty is the rightful punishment for those with grave sins. And according to Oxler, quote, Death penalty makes it impossible for criminals to do bad things over and over again. Executing someone permanently stops the worst criminals and means we can all feel safer as they can't commit any more crimes. End quote. Another thinking that supports this is that we need to be tough on crime. In theory, this is true. Offenders of grave crimes should be given grave punishments as well, but there lies a loophole. To punish someone who killed someone by killing them will make the prosecutors killers as well. Even so, it makes us question the ethical beliefs and the morality of the prosecutors. In the end, it does not reduce repeat crimes. In fact, there is no supporting evidence of this. In America, states that have capital punishment does not have lower crime rate than those who does not implement that penalty. With all that being said, I believe that penalty should still not be approved here in the Philippines or wherever because it violates human rights, basic human rights, and is not moral correct. morally correct. Sorry. Guilty offenders, offenders should be given a chance for redemption and contemplation for their wrongdoings, and that is what prison is made for. Doing time to correct their ways and to come out better and a smarter person. Robert Bryan once said, a philosopher, said that, the purpose of life is a life of purpose. And who are we to take someone's, someone else's purpose or their life? 
do we still use the barbaric ways of punishment? Or can we give those offenders the right to live while paying for their sins? Thank you for listening.